I'm Andrea Galately from Team Witch Doctor, and I'm here to tell you the BattleBots runner-up curse is real. After Witch Doctor's championship run in 2019, we did everything we could to avoid a runner-up curse that plagued Minotaur the year before and Bombshell the year before that. Although we built a whole new robot for the 2020 season, just like we do every year, we made no significant changes that might jeopardize that secret sauce that we seem to have found in 2019. With seven straight wins, plus an undefeated championship win at the All-Stars Tournament in Las Vegas. Spoiler alert, our runner-up curse caught up with us anyway. While it's easy to justify a broken disc during that brutal fight with Hydra on the new, thicker battle box floor, our second loss against Kraken where our discs broke immediately proved it was more than a fluke. And with just one last chance to earn a place in the BattleBots Championship Tournament, we decided to take drastic action. There are a few factors that could be causing our problem design, material, and hardness. The design was identical to 2019, where we had no problems throwing a spinning gigabyte 15 feet into the air, so we were confident that that wasn't the issue. If the issue was hardness, then we could anneal our existing weapon discs and retemper them in just a few hours. But if the issue was the material, cutting new discs is the only way to fix it, but it normally takes weeks to source material and cut weapon discs. With just 24 hours until our next fight, and only one fight card match left, we decided to do both in parallel. After dozens of dead-end phone calls looking for same-day pickup on AR500 in a size that we could actually transport ourselves, we borrowed a truck from Sporkinok and braved LA rush hour traffic to pick up some AR400 at Klockner Metals, right as they were closing, thanks to an amazing find by Al at Blacksmith. Meanwhile. We found the local heat treater and got the old discs annealed and retempered before the day was over. We still didn't know if the issue was material or hardness, so to be sure that we fixed the problem with the retempering, we needed a way to test the weapon discs before our next match in the morning. We searched the pits looking for the biggest hammer we could find to try to break a weapon disc. What's the biggest hammer in the building? In rolls shatter. They were happy to help with our experiment. First, we would have them hit the disc that had broken in Kraken's mouth to see if they had the power to recreate the failure. That was our control test. If they could break that disc, then they should be able to break the retempered disc if they had the same problem. We headed to the test box to give it a try. Let me tell you, Shatter hits hard. Still, they couldn't manage to break it. It just goes to show you shows how massive the loads are in the battle box and how hard it is to find a way to test these robots. Thanks to an all-nighter on the water jet from our superheroes at Chomp, we didn't have to rely on the retempered weapon discs in our next match, but we still wondered if it would have fixed the problem. After the season, we decided to put the retempered weapon discs to the test. In collaboration with our pals at Hypershock, we built a 250-pound test load modeled after the smallest, most heavily armored bot we could think of, our favorite angry boy, Tantra. We decked it out in its signature orange paint angry eyes, and even added tiny fists. We rented out a secure location to conduct our testing. Here is the slow motion footage from the test. At the moment of impact, you can see that the weapon disc that first made contact shatters and the entire robot shakes violently from the wildly unbalanced spinning mass. Isn't that crazy? We watched this video over and over again with Hypershock because we just couldn't believe how much everything flexes. Our test confirmed that Chomp saved our season by cutting those new discs for us out of AR400. Our first hit against Lamo would have had these same results, and our season would have been over without a single win. Through process of elimination, we concluded that our 2020 problem with our weapon discs was due to a material issue, but we still wanted confirmation. We had searched for the material showing that it was in fact S7 tool steel from the United States, so it wasn't the problem with Chinese material that teams like Gigabyte have found. You might remember that we also broke a weapon disc in our 2019 Las Vegas fight against Tombstone, keeping in our tradition of the victor always leaving with a broken weapon. We had attributed that failure to Tombstone's unbelievable horizontal energy, but was this issue possibly related? Aaron from Tantrum suggested that we reach out to their friend Kelsey at Materials Engineering Incorporated. She agreed to take a look and we sent her a 2019 disc from our Tombstone fight and a 2020 disc from the Kraken fight. They used chemical analysis to confirm both discs were in fact S7 tool steel. They also analyzed the samples using their scanning electron microscope, 
and other fancy equipment to study the crack propagation and ductility of the materials. Take a look at these images. You can clearly see that the material does not have the same properties. Here is her conclusion. The Season 5 sample likely failed as a result of inhomogeneous microstructure, resulting in non-uniform material properties as evidenced by the hardness, brittle fracture appearance, and overall microstructure appearance. The Season 4 sample likely failed as a result of loading conditions with no material-related issues observed. In other words, the Season 5 disc had an uneven microstructure that made it more brittle, and the Season 4 disc simply got tombstoned. Thanks, Kelsey, for finally settling this mystery. With all this information, for 2021, we decided to make our weapon out of AR-500 and repeated the same test before shipping out to BattleBots for the new season, just to make sure there's no surprises this time. With no wheels on our test load, it sits flush on the ground and requires our weapon disc to bite into the material in order to be able to toss the test load. This is the toughest loading condition, and our weapon should see much higher loads than if we propped up the test load and hid it from beneath. No broken discs, and some nice weapon teeth marks in our knockoff tantrums half-inch armor. We're ready for the new season of BattleBots. This problem is fixed, and this time we're not the runner-up, so we have nothing to worry about, right? Now it's up to Whiplash to finally break the runner-up curse.